um, telling you a little bit about how I got here, okay? Um, about five and a half years ago, I was a mom with a mission um, to help my kids. And let me explain what that me meant, okay? I have four children. Um, I'm a nurse by trade. I am a childbirth educator, a doula, and um, that's enough. <laughs> um, and, the, and a mom to four kids, which was keeping me really, really busy. The busiest season of all was the springtime. Spring would come and my kids would get sick. And um, in Hampton Roads, we get spring a couple times, right? Like it'll be wonderful and beautiful just like a few days ago. And then it'll be freezing cold. And then the weather will shift again in a couple months. And then it'll be freezing cold again. And it's crazy town. And I would have to watch the pollen counts. I would have to pay attention to the mold. And I could never open my windows. I was always so afraid that one of them was going to start coughing. And if you were a mom with a child with asthma, you know what that cough sounds like. It's horrific and it doesn't stop. And if I could just <laughs> erase one part of my life, honestly, it would probably be the nights that I stayed up praying for my kids who had asthma. Um, if you were a mom in that situation, I feel your pain. It is, um, it's something that you don't have to go through. There is hope, okay? And um, there's no one thing fits all, but I'm hoping to share with you tonight how reducing toxic load can help your family, okay? Um, so that's what got me started on this adventure, all right? So we basically were on every al allergy, albuterol, anything you could possibly imagine to decrease inflammation in the body. We tried it. We tried everything. And my kids were either doped up or hyper. And it just depended on if I gave him Benadryl that day or if he had too much albuterol in him. It was crazy. And that and I was done with it. So I started investigating other things. What could I do to help promote healing in the body? And I ended up at my chiropractor's office. Um, we started receiving chiropractic care as a family, and um, she's actually on here, Dr. Tiffany, and um, she just opened my mind to so many things. So not only was chiropractic care helping, but also she was having these classes in her office, and we were learning all about things like... Um, <sighs> you know, what goes in the body and how that affects us and what is around us, um, what we put on our skin gets into our, our bloodstream. We were learning all of these things. And then one day someone came to talk about essential oils. And I had already been doing a lot of homework on essential oils, trying them out, trying to figure out what was right for my family before I ended up diving in. Um, we had no money at the time to invest in something like this, but I did know that we needed to invest in our health. So I sold things on Craigslist. I tried all different brands and I got to Young Living. And when I tried Young Living, it was like the light bulbs went off. Things changed, things happened. And I was like, okay, this is, this is it. This is what I pick. And, um, and I never, turned back and it has been such an incredible adventure. So when we first got started, we started diffusing lemon, lavender, and peppermint, okay? That was our allergy trio that we used to support our bodies during the seasonal changes. And it was phenomenal and it was so great. Um, I could see a difference each change of seasons as they grew. And as I was doing that, I was reading about toxic load and how our body, when we absorb chemicals within our bloodstream, there's also something called bioaccumulation. And so things would just pile up on top of each other, over top of each other over time and start to clog receptor sites in the body. And that toxic load can um, actually lead to states of inflammation. And so I tried to put all these pieces together in my head and said, what can I do as a mom that I have control over other than food and diet? Because yes, we tried that as well. And we, we did great on um, taking chemicals out of food. And um, for the most part, we did this elimination diet and, and we you know fasted from certain things and all of that helped. It wasn't just one thing, it was everything. 
but I started reducing toxin load and things started shifting even faster. So I almost wish that I had started out with something called the Thieves Starter Kit. And this is what I'm gonna to present to you today. It's not just the Thieves Starter Kit, it's actually all of our Thieves products because um, it, there's just so many to choose from. It's, it's even more than what you get in a kit. So I'm gonna share with you how we baby stepped our way to a cleaner home by using just a few products, okay? And again, like I said, I didn't have a lot of money. So it was really important to me that what I purchased, I would be able to use for, um, like I'm not a big DIY person, so I wanted it already done for me, but I wanted it, I wanted to pay the least amount for it, but I wanted a quality product. Thieves has everything that I just mentioned. So let me fast forward from my story and tell you that today, my children might get itchy noses when the pollen's changing or falling. They might have a cough every once in a while, but I have kicked my nebulizer to the curb, you guys. And that is a huge deal. Um, so we are no longer on what, what they used to be on. We um, no longer have to do anything we want. Can, um, play outside when the pollen's falling. We can do all of those things without it leading to bronchitis, asthma, or pneumonia. And I could not say that five and a half years ago. And if you knew me five and a half years ago, you know this to be true. There's so many of you who didn't know me back then, but the ones who are on here who knew me can attest to that. Our family looks completely different. Now, do we still eat out? Yes. Do we still have fast food? Yes. I have not completely arrived to the crunchy stage yet. Um, or I don't know if I ever will be, to be honest. But the things that I want to control are the things that we use every single day. Okay. And so maybe that's you. Maybe that's you. Um, all right. So we're going to go through different parts of your home that you can start making a difference in. And it's all centered around this wonderful blend called Thieves. Whoop, let's go this way. All right. Thieves is absolutely amazing. If you have smelled this, put in the comments below what you think this reminds you of. For me, it smells like Christmas time. Um, it reminds me of clove and cinnamon smell. It is a beautiful smell. And the reason why it's in this blend is because of the history surrounding those oils and those spices. Um, I'm not going to go all into that story right now, but I will post it later in the um, in this class. But what I'd like for you to do is take some time after this class and go on PubMed.gov. And I would like for you to search in their search engine the properties, the chemical constituents within the oils that are in this blend. Okay, and if someone can post the, the oils that are in this blend over in the comments, that would be really helpful. Okay, so um, go ahead and look those up and then you'll understand why they were put together in a blend because of those constituents and what they do in the body. So maybe you've never tried an essential oil before. Let's just go back to the basics and talk to you a little bit about what that does. So when we use oils, we can use them a couple different ways. We use them by inhalation. And when we inhale them, it gets through our olfactory nerve, it travels through and it goes to our limbic center of the brain. And when that sparks, it will hit an emotion, okay? So automatically you are feeling a difference in your mood, your behavior, and your cognition. And we know this to be true scientifically, okay? So when you use a pure therapeutic grade essential oil, you are getting that benefit. The problem is oils are kind of, um, a fad right now. So uh, people are putting lots of fragrances in there and thinking that they are actually getting a, a therapeutic grade essential oil. Well, that's not true. So you need to look up where your oils come from. Have they been tested? Okay. So those are part of the reasons why I chose Young Living. Um, so we only use, of course, Young Living oils in our home. And when we clean, we only clean with thieves or lemon or vinegar or thieves household cleaner okay um so that's how we can use essential oils um, aromatically we can also use them topically so when we put an oil on our body i like to talk about how that works very quickly it's going to be so tiny and micro um 
molecular structure that it's going to find out where it fits in the body. It's going to link up to a receptor site. It's going to clean up that site and then it's going to turn on the light bulbs in a sense in your body. Okay. So imagine that you would be walking around with um, clogged receptors. Now, how do they get clogged? They get clogged by things called endocrine disruptors. Those are things that we use like in bleach, in, in any cleaners, in fragrances, in um, the chemicals that we um, use in our foods, like all of those things bio accumulate upon the cell. Or there's things that are xenoestrogens. And what those do is they basically fire off in random ways or prevent the firing of your natural hormones. And so what does this do? It wrecks our hormones, it wrecks our immune system, and that's not a good thing. So that's why we like to use essential oils topically to help with those receptor sites and help clean up those receptor sites in your body. So you don't wanna be walking around with a bunch of dead and light bulbs. We wanna turn all those light bulbs on in our body so we can function at our optimal capacity, okay? And we're turning on all of those immune receptors, we're turning on all of those um, endocrine receptors to function the way they're supposed to. Um, we can also ingest essential oils as well. So a favorite thing of my family, whenever we're feeling a little bit under the wellness line, we like to help boost our immune system with something called thieves tea. So thieves tea would be just one drop of thieves and one drop of lemon mixed around in some honey and then pour some um, water, hot, hot water on top of that. That's thieves tea. And it tastes amazing. It's wonderful. It boosts your immune system. And we use our vitality line, which is the white labeled um, essential oils. Okay. So that's a little bit about why we clean with oils, why we use oils in our body and on our body and, and inhaling them. So the best thing about switching and ditching your chemical laden cleaners is the fact that it doesn't have to smell like vinegar all the time. If you decide to do your easy switch of your entire house, you switch to this. This is Thieves Household Cleaner. Thieves Household Cleaner is the biggest bang for your buck. You can actually make about 29 ounces, um, I mean, not, sorry, not 29 ounces, 29 of these bottles, okay, spray bottles, out of one of these, okay? Um, so this is very, very simple to use. All you have to do is a capsule, and you mix it in a glass container, and then you spray, spray, spray. What I'd like for you to do when you're done with this video is challenge yourself to go look under your sink, to turn the label around and to read the label. If there's anything that talks about phthalates or um, triclosan, hopefully you don't have anything like that in there. Um, there's a whole list if you go on the EWG of bad chemicals, okay? And if you find any of those, please ditch that right away. And if you live local to me, I will stop by with a little sample of these cleaner for doing that because you just were the bravest person and the smartest person. And I want to reward you with doing a great job for your family. It really is that easy though. You guys, this can clean absolutely every surface. This is all we use. And my husband was a little bit um, skeptical when we first got started. He's like, how can this really clean it all? Well, I went away on a trip, came back and found him cleaning over and over the stainless steel. And he's like, this is the best cleaner ever. And you know, ladies, when you sell your husband on something, it's done, right? Um, so I told him all the time, but it took him actually using it for him to fall in love with it. Um, so we literally use that on our granite countertop. We use that on our stainless steel. We use that for spot cleanup. We use that for, um, our hardwood floor. We use it for everything. That is the only cleaner that you need, even showers, okay? It's the only thing you need. That's why this was so easy for me to do because I was like, okay, wait a second. Why do you go to the store and they have shower cleaner, all-purpose cleaner? Um, let's see. Um, tell me all here. What else do they have? Because I'm I'm used to this. Um, Windex, glass cleaner, they have all of these different 
different. There's why, why? It's just marketing, you guys. This is what you need. It's all here. And people think it's so expensive. Well, that's because they don't understand that this bottle right here, all you're using is a capful. That's it. So look at all the capfuls that you can have in this one bottle of Thieves Cleaner. Okay. Make that switch. It's super easy, super easy to do. All right. Let's travel along because the next thing that you're going to want to do, and it's super easy to do this one as well. Okay. Is your laundry. Now, laundry detergent, they come in all nice, pretty green washed packages, right? But if you turn that around and look at the actual ingredients, I dare you to look up what's in there still because they're selling it as though it's green, right? As though it's clean and wonderful, but they're not showing you what's actually in there. You have to do that dirty work yourself. You have to do the research yourself. And after you research that, you're gonna wanna throw that one in the trash and you're gonna buy this. And this is your Thieves laundry detergent. You can make this into three containers. Okay, the best thing about Young Living is the fact that it comes concentrated. They don't ship you water. They actually ship you a product that um, you can make into multiple things, okay? So all you have to do is, and I'll actually post this later as well, how to dilute all of these different things. But um, what I like to do is actually use it straight but we only use a little bit. I'm the worst measure. I just am. I'm the worst measure. But we just use a little itty bitty bit. And then um, our clothes smell, they don't smell like um, draft, that's for sure. But they do smell like they're clean. And if you want to add some essential oil to it, they'll smell like whatever oil that is. Then when you put them in the wash, in the dryer, all you have to do is add some dryer balls. So now you're eliminating the toxic chemicals from your laundry detergent. You're eliminating what you're cleaning on a regular basis, and you're eliminating fabric softener or dryer sheets. And those two things right there, the last two, they are huge with asthmatics. They, I mean, they're a trigger. And if you've ever had asthma, you can't be around fragrances. You know why? Because they're terrible for us. They really are. Fragrances are so different than oils are, okay? Um, all right, so those are the top two easy, easy switches. Now we're going to move on to um, what we wash our hands with because whatever we put on our hands um, is actually going to get into our bloodstream, right? Up until 2016, they were allowing triclosan in all of the antibacterial hand wash Okay, soaps, right? So in all the bathrooms and all of that, not only do they have toxic fragrances that you were inhaling and putting into your bloodstream on a regular basis, but you were also um, putting triclosan all over, okay? You guys, they banned it in 2016 in soaps, but they left it in toothpaste, triclosan, okay? So, and shaving cream, they left it in shaving cream, they left it in other cosmetic products. It takes a long time to change these laws. Don't wait for the laws to change. Change your mind. Change your mindset and order something that says thieves on it because you know where that comes from and you know it's not going to make you um, sicker. Okay. So in a time like this, we're in a quarantine. We're washing our hands all the time. Okay. We don't need to be going out and buying a whole bunch of hand sanitizer everybody else in the world is. We need to be buying a lot of soap. <laughs> soap does what we need. We need um, to wash our hands and there's a correct way to wash your hands and that would be not just rubbing all of the dirt all around but actually really scrubbing the tips where you get dirt all over okay do you typically get dirt all over and germs all over the top of your hands maybe a little bit but stop trying to just do this all the time because you've watched it on er or Grey's anatomy okay seriously do this and do it for a long time sing happy birthday three times or abcdefg you know whatever you teach your kids but please just wash with thieves 
hand, hand soap, okay? We actually do um, use this straight, but I know a lot of people who um, do half seas with this as well. I just love the smell of it straight. Um, all right, so that's what we have in all of our bathrooms, okay? Next, what do we wash our plates with? And why is this such a big deal? When you wash your plates that you eat the food off of, the food is absorbing the chemicals that were on the plate, okay? Then you eat the food and you eat the chemicals. Please think about these things. If we can reduce the amount of toxins that we're having in body every single day, we are reducing the bioaccumulation to occur, which means we have higher immune systems, which means we are going to rock out this corona stuff, okay? Um, because we have a higher immune system, all right? And um, not to mention, I'm just gonna go there, but our hormones, ladies, in America, our hormones are whacked up. And if you Google the top reason for estrogen dominance in America, you will find the answer is toxic load. What is the one thing that we as women of our household can do to prevent this in ourselves, and to prevent that estrogen dominance in our children. Yes, boys and girls can have estrogen dominance, and they do. A lot of guys have estrogen dominance and they don't even know it. That's a whole nother class. It's all on hormones. I've already done that before. It's recorded. Ask me later if you want that. But it's the number one reason is toxic load. We have control over that, you guys. No one's telling us what we can. We have to clean our hands with or what we have to clean our house with or our dishes with we get to choose that so if you want to be a generation changer or leave a legacy for your children start ditching the toxins this is more than just hey you want to clean with these awesome scents this is a class that should change your mindset and if i didn't change your mindset yet just hold on <laughs> okay so i do actually love this um but it took me a little bit of time to get used to no bubbles. Then I found out there's a way to make bubbles, okay? Um, wh when I first guess I dump at least half, or I, I guess, see, I never measure. I think I'd probably do thirds of this, maybe half or thirds, I don't know. Um, but I dump a lot in a mason jar. And then the rest of it, I will fill with super hot water and a little bit, again, I don't measure, I'll find these measuring things for you later, a little bit of baking soda. And when you do that, then you shake it up, or well, you don't shake it, because then it just explodes. So just do this, let it just kind of, you know, emulsify, I guess, like get all mixed up. And then when you use it, bubbles will happen okay so if you like bubbles when you clean bubbles actually don't mean clean but that's just what we've been ingrained with so um sls causes bubbles too and we don't use those sls anymore so look that one up as well um this is a great way to clean your dishes okay and if you don't want to clean all the dishes and you want your dishwasher to clean the dishes then you get the dishwashing soap okay or I mean, sorry, the dishwashing detergent. Now this is also concentrate, and I like to add the rest of the bag full of baking soda, okay? And then I put a scoop in there, or if you don't wanna add the baking soda, you can just use a fourth of a scoop and put that in um, your dishwasher and your, you know, no chemicals, and they're clean, and you can eat off of it without thinking how many chemicals are, am I putting in my, into my body right now that it doesn't know what to do, okay? And here's the other thing. When you put chemicals in your body on a regular basis, your immune system is fighting off those toxins like they should, but they're so tired of fighting all the toxins. When a germ comes by, they're so taxed, they don't really have all the power to fight that germ now, do they? So let's do ourselves a really big favor and get the toxins out. All right. Um, here's something that I just recently started using, probably about a year ago, um, on my produce. And um, I, I ripped off this label because I gave a sample and I just kind of cut the label off. So here, 
Um, this is Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash. They also make a Thieves Fruit and Veggie Spray. All right, let's talk about this. Sometimes I don't buy all organic. I know, I have not quite arrived, but um, sometimes it's a budget thing, right? And so if I am buying even organic fruit and veggies, who's touching those, right? We're in a pandemic, let's get real. Um, wash your fruit, fruits and veggie. And if you're just washing with water, then you're not getting it at all. And if you are washing with some other chemical, then it's absorbing all that chemical. So we want to wash with this. Um, it really helps the produce last longer. And as soon as I buy it, I put it in a big container in the sink and I just add a cap full of this, just a little bit, and then let it soak. And then I'll dry it off and I'll put it where it needs to be. It's great. It doesn't taste like anything or it rinses clean. And I know that all the bad stuff is gone. So with the power of thieves. Now, one thing that I didn't talk about um, was how does this work? Because um, I think that's important to know. And I would like to, I wrote this down. Hold on. I'd like to tell you how it works. Okay. Maybe I'll have to like tell you later because I thought I put it down, but I can't find it now. Anyway, there's two molecules that um, make up the solution for the cleaner because a lot of people ask about that. Well, there's more than just thieves in here. What are those things that I can't pronounce? They are, they are chemicals, but they aren't toxic chemicals. And what happens is one likes to be attracted to oil and one likes to be attracted to water. And so this is why this makes it so um, great for getting off and like sticky residue or, um, you know, cleaning into the real nitty gritty crevices because it likes to hold on and grab all of those um, dirty things. I will post that little paragraph um, that sounds much more scientific than what I just sounded, but it made a lot of sense when I read about it because I've always wondered like, what's in this that's not in other things? You know, what makes it work? So, um, all right, let's see. There are so many other thieves things. There's thieves toothpaste, there's thieves um, oh, hand sanitizer. I mean, there is thieves, thieves for everything you can possibly clean. My goal tonight is basically to get you thinking, what's already in your bathrooms? What is one thing that you can ditch today and make a better progress for your immune system as a family? I like to take things in baby steps, but there are some people who go through their house after this class and they look at all of the ingredients and they're like, I'm done. You know what? If that's you, that is awesome and you are my hero. But if you're like me, you need some baby steps. And so I'm going to be posting some of these um, different rooms in your house that you can use thieves cleaner for to clean. And now you might have to get creative. So like for grout, you might need to add some baking soda and some thieves cleaner, let it sit, and then take a toothbrush to it and it'll clean just like any grout cleaner you can possibly imagine, but without the harsh chemicals. So there are some things that you need to get creative with. We have recipes for that and that's awesome. For me, for the most part, I just spray, I spray my little heart out and I just wipe it down. That's as easy as it has to be. Um, I love your questions. Again, there's so many other Thieves products. I did want to mention this as well because um, this is something that we, this is a mouthwash and it's by Thieves. It has colloidal silver in it and it is free from alcohol, synthetic dyes, or artificial flavors. It tastes amazing. Um, a lot of people like to dilute it if they're using it for a mouthwash, but the reason I'm bringing this up to you now is because if tickle in the back of your throat that you just wish would stop tickling, <laughs> then all you have to do seriously is take this gargle and that tickle is gone for a while. And the reason why is because it has some clove essential oil in that. And that will just kind of um, numb that area a little bit. It's very, very, very strong. So for kids, I would definitely dilute, but it's safe for all ages. And guess what? If you happen to swallow a little bit of it, you don't have to call poison control. I have a lot of young moms on here that I'm looking at. And um, what is 
below you're seeing real danger for the most most American families. I'm going to give you a little scenario that happened to me that I hope never ever happens to anyone. Um, but I got to share it with you because this was another reason why I decided I'm going to ditch the stuff under my sink. Um, so when I was raising my three boys and I just had a little girl, this was before oils came in to my life. Um, we were playing, I was playing hide and seek. The two older boys were in um, elementary school and Luke was home with me and I had a baby. Okay. And so I'm folding clothes and the baby is sleeping for a minute. But um, I told Luke we would play hide and seek and I would finish folding some clothes and he could go hide and I would come find him. Right. So he goes upstairs. Um, and about an hour before this had happened, um, we had a clogged drain upstairs. You guys kind of know what's about to happen, right? Um, my husband came home, put some Drano in the drain and let it sit. And then he was going to finish whatever as soon as he came back home. Um, I had forgotten about that. I had mommy brain. And Luke went upstairs and... Um, all of a sudden I heard him scream and I will never forget that scream. He screamed bloody murder. I knew exactly what had happened in my mommy gut and I ran upstairs and thankfully I was breastfeeding. Um, he ha immediately had blisters all over his mouth. Um, he said that it smelled like hot dogs to him and he decided to lick the countertop with the drain out. So my nurse brain uh, was like, okay, this is not good. Are we going to need to rush to the ER? You know, when saliva, uh, it's, you know, like saliva, it will carry it down the drain out and kids can end up intubated. Like his story could have been terrible. <sighs> Um, and it like, it literally takes my breath away when I remember that day. And um, thankfully I had breast milk in the refrigerator and I like poured it all over him and he's screaming and screaming and I call poison control. And um, the first thing they said is, is, is he still breathing? And I said, yes. And I said, do I need to call an ambulance? Like what? And they said, okay, tell me what it, what it was, you know? And I said, Drano. And the lady on the end of the poison control said, Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I about punched her in the face. You don't say that. I mean, come on. I know it's bad. That's why I'm calling you. So um, anyway, we end up, he was seen by his pediatrician and everything was fine. Everything's fine. Thank God. It was a miracle because um, my pediatrician even said he, he could have been, I mean, he could have been dead. He could have needed intubation because it will burn the esophagus. Um, it was just, it could have been terrible. It wasn't, but that day I threw out everything under the sink. Like I was like, no, this is not going to happen ever again. So don't be that statistic. Um, it's so easy, you guys. So what are your questions? Um, what have I helped you think through or shifted your mindset? And um, the person who invited you to this class is the person that I want you to follow up with. So if it's me, follow up with me. If it's somebody else, please follow up with them. They can help you get started with these baby steps. It's super simple. I'm not selling you a product. I'm selling you a lifestyle and I'm not selling it to you. I'm hoping to encourage you to make this choice, to make, to shift your mindset. Um, right now, people are really germaphobe for a good reason. You can still be a germaphobe and use natural products. They work. There is a, a video that I'd like to show you. Um, after this that um, is all about thieves cleaner and how well it cleans and um, there's like chicken juice and then you spray the thieves cleaner and then you swab it and you can see that the bacteria is gone and it's clean um, so I'm going to show you that as well you don't have to compromise your health for a product that can change um, the way you clean you don't have to compromise your health and so 
hopefully I have encouraged you with some of that. Um, it's super easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I don't have the motivation like your kid swallowing Drano to actually change. So start thinking about your daughter. Start thinking about your son. Start thinking about the legacy that you can um, leave for your children and your grandchildren. Um, one other thing about toxic load, this, you know, I'm a birth educator, so I, I love this statistic and I hate this statistic. I love it because it does make moms shift their mindset. Um, also, if you haven't watched the stink documentary, go watch that. But there are 300, there has been a study that has found 300 chemicals within the umbilical cord of a newborn. That's a lot that should not be near our newborns. So what we put on our body on a daily basis it adds up, you guys. It really does. So um, I would much rather you be on the side of um, where my kids are now versus where they were before. I wish I would have known what I know now as I was raising those little kids. Okay, I'm going to go review some of these comments. I want you to post your pictures. Um, let me know or let the person who invited you know uh, what you're deciding to switch. And if you guys want to switch things and you live local to me, I would love to reward you with a job well done. And um, all you have to do is message me on here and I will drop off a sample and um, put in your mailbox. You know, all the social distancing rules apply. Um, so I hope you guys have had a good time and um, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys soon.